new monsters, new curio upgrades, and most importantly, the return of Frostcraft. Hello Hunters, Gaudium here doing the voiceover for Aris in this video. The fourth title update got released some weeks ago and it has a lot of new stuff for Greatsword we want to talk about. We'll go through the new content and the comeback of Frostcraft. We'll explain how this skill works in a nutshell, how it affects Greatsword, and create builds using this skill for both offensive and casual play. We'll show non-curio augment template first, and then upgrade the set with curio augment. Let's get started with Frostcraft. With Volcana's return, we can find Frostcraft on its armor. To be exact, it's on the chest, arms, and waist. There are three levels for this skill and each level gives you an additional Frostcraft bar. The third level extends it with two bars. Frostcraft has four segments. The first one has no damage increase. The next one gives 5% damage and the last two gives 20% and 30% respectively. Frostcraft counts both your base damage and raw modification and then multiplies the result by 1.3. This result is a strong boost for Greatsword's general damage, making it a new meta for this weapon. The Frostcraft bar will drain depending on the motion value of each movement. These are Greatsword values and how each movement consumes the Frostcraft bar. We want to thank Zan for his research on this skill. Check his video link in the description below where he explains how the skill works in more detail. On stronger attacks, a bigger portion of the bar will be consumed when landing a hit. The damage boost will decrease each time you go down a segment. This is also indicated by the bar's appearance. It will glow weaker every time a level decreases. Now, we'll explain the different forms of regenerating the bar. Each weapon has its own regeneration time, both sheath and unsheath. When you have a weapon unsheath, there are many factors to consider. The bar regenerates at a very slow pace and only if you're not moving or just walking. If you're doing any other action, like evading, attack, or blocking, or even recovering animation, the regeneration stops. The easiest option to regenerate Frostcraft bar is sheathing the weapon. In Greatsword's case, it will regenerate 20% per second. Additionally, Volcana's weapons have hidden passive skill, which makes the Frostcraft bar regenerates 25% faster on these weapons. Frostcraft adapts really well with Greatsword's playstyle in Sunbreak. Strongarm Stance is the strongest switch skill for it in this game. This switch skill with Frostcraft will increase the damage significantly. For the builds, in this update, there's an important change on curio crafting for weapons. Now, it gives additional attack, element, and sharpness just by unlocking anomaly slots. These augments will change depending on the weapon. For example, if you have a weapon without any elemental value, only its attack will increase. Weapons with element will change some of the raw upgrades to element. Knowing this, we recommend builds with a following greatsword in this update. Azure Blaze Greatsword, Mirax Asterism, and Fine Kamura Cleaver. These have very good raw sharpness and slots, which makes the build quite easy to put together. Special mention to two greatswords that have the highest raw in the game. Baroth Smasher and Tigrex Supreme Sword Plus although their negative affinity makes them harder to build around. All these weapons are fully augmented for attack. The only exception is Merax Asterism, which needs a Rampage slot upgrade in order for us to use Anti-Species Decoration. Then the remaining upgrades go to attack. As we mentioned at the beginning, we are showcasing two different build templates, the first one does not have curio upgrades on the armor but has a solid base. These are the pieces we need. 
The first and most important part is having the three Volcana pieces with Frostcraft, the chest, arms and waist. These pieces also have good skills for greatsword, like quick sheath and focus. For the headpiece, Reason to Yostra's Helm is the way to go. With Powder Mantle 1, Critical Eye 2, Weakness Exploit 1, and good slots. For the legs, we are using Risen Valstrax legs. With Attack Boost 2, Critical Boost 1, and Stun Resistance 3. The charm for this template is a relatively easy one. Attack Boost 3 with level 2 slot. To obtain good charms, use the most recent melding option, Melding Aurora. This allows you to search for a specific skill, reducing RNG. Sunbreak's director, Suzuki, mentioned recently that we will have two new melding options in the fifth title update. Now we can add decorations. Reaching 100% affinity allows you to constantly land critical hits, resulting in consistent damage without the need for buddies to get your affinity up. We also have good offensive skills and some survival and quality of life skills like sun resistance. Also, we can use the level 1 slots on the armor to add intrepid heart, flinch free, or even spirit bird skull. This makes the build really comfortable to play in any kind of situation, solo or multiplayer. Let's go to the second part of the build. Let's see what skills we can add in the Curio Augment to improve the build. Build Up Boost 3 is a good start. Currently, this skill is only available through Curio Crafting or by equipping specific armor. There's no decoration for this skill at the moment. In addition, Search for the useful skills like Offensive Guard, Wirebug Whisperer, Maximum Might, Critical Eye, Attack Boost, Critical Boost, or Weakness Exploit on the two remaining pieces. Regarding switch skills, the main scroll is the red one. For the skills, our main focus is Strong Arm Stance, since it is the strongest technique we have. For more versatility, you can add Rage Slash to the blue scroll instead of True Charge Slash. You can change the skills to fit your playstyle. In this build, we are using a Frostcraft and Dragonheart combo. Here, we search for Dragonheart in the Curio Augment. Since the Dragonheart jewel only gives us 1 point, filling a level 4 slot. Dragonheart is a 10% bonus attack when your HP is 80% or lower, granting Dragon Blight. To activate this skill, I suggest to make blocks or strong arm stance in controlled situations. We'll use Komura Greatsword since Dragon Blight makes status weapons useless. The next build is a fully offensive one, which we only recommend to experienced hunters. For this, we exchange the leg piece to Geismogorm, giving us one point of dereliction and resentment, and good slots. Take into account that with dereliction, our main scroll is blue. If you feel the dereliction playstyle is too risky, you can remove an attack boost echo to add blood right, making it quite comfortable. Next are the curio augments. We are going to use the Lucent Nargas greatsword. The skill priority in curio augment is the same as before. Frostcraft plus billet boost combo is really strong with weapons that have some status value and adding the reliction to it makes it even stronger. On this build, we are using Blood Ride. That allows us to hit strongly and at the same time, healing ourselves when hitting on a broken part. This build requires more experience and can be risky. If you miss a true charge slash, you also miss the healing, and it leaves you in a complicated situation. For the last template, the chosen greatsword is Fine Komura Cleaver. Try to maximize the damage without depending on RNG skills such as Build Up Boost. Get Resentment at level 4 instead. Remember, Resentment only raises your attack when you have red health. For Curio Augment, search for the usual skills Offensive Guard, Wirebug Whisperer, Critical Boost, Attack Boost, and so on. This build also uses Blood Ride. But if you don't see it necessary, change it for resentment. We hope that you enjoyed this video and you learned a thing or two. These templates are adapted to Iris's playstyle 
but feel free to change anything according to your needs. Let us know in the comments if this video helped you in any way so we can do the same for the next update. From Aris and all of us who made this video possible, happy hunting!